to another unraveling uh, toxic masculinity. In this one, we have another video by Pick Me Pearl, and the name of it is Men Hate Fat Women. So, here we go. Here's some toxicity on the uh, part of Pick Me Pearl. What does she have to say? Thanks. One girl that looks good at 300 pounds. Name I don't one. know what 300 pounds is. Uh, I happen to think, I don't know how much Lizzo weighs, but I think Lizzo looks great. Whatever weight she is, I'm not going to guess what she is, but I'm sure she would assume that Lizzo's 300 pounds. Um, maybe she's 280, maybe she's 250, maybe she's 330, maybe she's 350. I don't know. But Lizzo is a large woman. She's also a very attractive woman. And that's that's the first one I would go to. There's other people that was like Cameron Manheim. Manheim she was a, a larger actress. She's very attractive. There are attractive women who are overweight. Just because you don't think they are, just because you want to be a pick-me, it doesn't mean that other people aren't going to find them attractive. Again, I am a large man. And shockingly enough, I was responding to one of um, Myron's uh, Fresh and Fit clips on his video, and he was like, he was like, I don't like, I don't like fat guys. Get to the gym. You're never going to get women. Like, dude, my dating success went up as I gained weight because it had nothing to do with my weight. It had everything to do with my attitude, with my confidence, and how I presented myself, how I spoke to people. The weight came into play with some people, sure, but not with everybody. And if but for the people that it came into play with, I didn't want to date them anyway. So. See, I'm Maybe use the word obese. You know what 300 pounds is, <laughs> and you know what a fat girl is. Yeah, what is that in stone? What was that in stone? What is three hundred pounds in stone? Isn't that like fifty like percent? Like yeah, three hundred pounds to. What is oh, now they're doing math. I, can't, I guess they're trying to figure out the the calculations as to what it means because I guess she's in England. Is that like is that over fifteen like kg? Oh, it's twenty one stone. Twenty one stone. Yeah, name name one girl that looks good at twenty one stone. That's not a whale. I don't know anyone at twenty one. That's not a whale. Well, I mean, you know, they're not animals, they're humans. Don't. So I know, I, in media. I can think of a lot. Trucker John, Liberal Dan got game. Again, I, I would shock people in my fraternity who would make assumptions that just because I was a larger dude that somehow I wouldn't have game. And they, I'd, I'd show up with women who were very attractive and they would be like, what's going on? Like, these guys were... were like athletic looking they were kind of they might be they were but they just were a little socially inept i was socially adept i could go out there i could talk with people i could flirt i could do everything i i had very good success dating in college a lot of plus size models i don't know does lizzo look good <laughs> oh there you go she brought up lizzo let's see what they say about lizzo because you never look i, up I think she's woman. cute <laughs> personally i think she's cute is that yes or no I think she's do you think cute. most men want to screw her? I don't know what most men think. Do you think do you think she gets the same pretty privilege you do? I don't know. I don't Here she is. she's trying to be she's trying to be like, you know, not be mocked by the people of this show, but also or not be criticized by the people, whatever, but she knows Pearl's gonna be like, Lizzo's not pretty because she's obese. No. I think you do know. I think you do know. You don't I know. think I think I think if she was sat next to you and your boyfriend introduce himself to you i think you would have felt pretty confident and there you go so there's pick me pearl just being a fat shamer not understanding how society works how there are people who are attracted to people of all different shapes and sizes and you know again as i talked about this in the very special episode of liberal dan radio where i talked about my life as a obese person this is the type of attitude that you have to deal with when you know i was dealing with some people responding to videos that, that, that had nothing to do with my size and people were like oh your opinion is wrong because you're fat <laughs> but you know that those type of people are out there but <clears throat> the idea that people i mean i've seen some women on the street you know that were you know larger sized women that were obese women that you know i was like wow that woman's really attractive like i remember watching some episode I, I was younger. I want to say like I was maybe eight or ten and like really young, but like like old enough to maybe recognize prettiness or attractiveness or whatever. Um, and I, I think it was an episode of Phil Donahue and they had 
this one woman, it was a blonde woman who was on stage, and she was upset, I think, about her weight. And she was an obese woman. Um, and they were talking about that she was upset about the fact that she was obese. And, and I was sitting there, and I'm just like, I don't understand what the problem is. She's a very pretty woman. Like, so I think a lot of this stuff is learned. I think a lot of this stuff is, is A, a lot of this stuff is learned. But there's also stuff that, you, again, you can't help who you're attracted to. You can't help you're not attracted to. But there's also a lot of stuff here that is there because society has these standards that I'm sure that there are a lot of people who are attracted to people of larger size and stature who are afraid to date those people out of fear of what other people might say about them. Like there are people who like I I, I remember I one of my girlfriends in high school was she was like a year older and she was thick. I wouldn't call her obese necessarily, but she was definitely thick. Uh, she came and picked me up one day and she was wearing kind of like a tighter outfit and, and a couple of the people scoffed at her the next day. And I was like, what are you talking about? She looked hot. Um, they didn't like the fact, they didn't seem to like it, but I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with her. I thought she was stunning. But other people would have been embarrassed to be seen by her. Like, I guess that's the difference between myself and I guess a lot of other people, but... We live in a society that where people are shamed away from being with people who they would normally find attractive because society makes us think that those people are somehow lesser. I guess us people are somehow lesser.